Hello and welcome back here to the Gold Newsletter from the floor of the Deutsche Goldmesse in Frankfurt. My name is Kai Hoffman. I'm the at JR Mining Guy on Twitter and the CEO of the SOAR Financial Group. And I'm joined by one of our participants, one of the corporates here at the conference, Alistair Waddell, Inflection Resources. Alistair, thanks so much for coming out to Frankfurt. Thanks for having me over here. It's great to be here. Fantastic. Now, let's start with a bit of a company introduction. We're going to run through some highlights. Run us through 30, 60 seconds. Who and what is Inflection? Inflection Resources, Canadian, uh, US listed company focused on exploration for very large copper gold deposits in New South Wales, Australia. We're exploring the covered extension of a belt of rocks called the Macquarie Arc, which is hosting some very, very big mines. The big one is uh, Newmont's flagship operation in Australia, the Cadia mine. This north-south trending belt disappears to the north uh, under a blanket of, uh, of cover. And uh, we've identified a whole series of big targets that we're exploring in conjunction with uh, Anglo Gold Ashanti. We have a multi-year exploration agreement with Anglo Gold. And we're systematically drill testing a large portfolio of these targets, looking for a very large copper gold uh, porphyry system. F phenomenal intro, lots to follow up on, but to, to get everybody on the same level, let's talk cap structure real quick. Yeah, so 95 million shares outstanding. Uh, we currently have a market capitalization around about um, 19 million Canadian dollars. Hurt. That hurts. That's got to hurt. <laughs> What's the cash position? Uh, sitting around about uh, 1.7 million Canadian. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get into it, but we're, uh, we're also getting a management fee from operating our joint venture, which is enabling us to, uh, to keep that sort of steady state treasury uh, um, through uh, management fees for operating the exploration joint venture with Anglo Gold. You have a few larger shareholders in the company as well. Just, just give us a quick overview. Certainly the management team is the biggest uh, shareholder. We have about 28% of the company. And then we've got uh, Crescat Capital and uh, resource capital funds as well. Those are the two big institutions and uh, very happy to, to have them on board. Fantastic. D discovering and finding large copper, you know, gold deposits is not that easy. So run us a bit through that process and why did Anglo Gold jump onto it? Absolutely, so we, were, we, we identified uh, an opportunity at the beginning of 2018 whereby this old northern extension of this Macquarie Arc was covered uh, with sediments, but it was completely free of uh, competitive claims. So we were able to secure a very large land position. In fact, we are the largest holders of exploration licenses in the state of New South Wales with over 7,000 square kilometers of ground. So I think for, from an Anglo Gold perspective, it was really having that true district scale land position. We had a very clear strategy in terms of how we were gonna go out and explore through the sedimentary cover. And the fact we had all of these targets outlined, very large targets, that have never been drilled before. And that's an important point to stress. We're testing very large targets, two hours up a paved highway from one of Australia's biggest, uh, biggest mines here. So I think it was really the combination of the big district scale land position, 100% ownership, uh, clear strategy, a team knowing how to execute on that strategy. And uh, it was all that combined that really uh, appealed to Anglo Gold. We'll break down the joint venture agreement in a second, but I'm curious, and I don't want to get too technical, but how do you do the targeting? Like, how does that work since it, you said there's cover? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great question. The, the principal targeting was done uh, as a result of an airborne magnetic survey completed by the government of New South Wales. And this was a, a survey done to encourage investment in mining in, in that part of the world. And what this clearly demonstrated that underneath the sedimentary cover, uh, the belt of rocks that host these big mines, clearly extends and uh, it was the principal targeting was done on that and so we know what these major mines look like in terms of their geophysical signature and uh, we identified about 36 very large features in the magnetics that we considered analogous with these major mines located further to the south so that was the principal targeting tool and we go about testing those by drilling uh, through the cover sequence and doing a series of shallow holes into the prospective basement sequence uh, and it's a very uh, systematic and disciplined approach to testing lots and lots of targets and, and having Anglo Gold as a partner uh, has really enabled us to, to do that and complete a massive amount of uh, essentially what is Greenfields drilling. Well, I have to ask and again don't want to get too technical but like how thick is the cover because it, yeah. it, in the end it means like how many meters can you drill effectively with the money you have? Yeah so it's the, it's variable it's a short answer <laughs> I mean, it is a basin, so on the margins of the basin, it's basically zero. Uh, the deepest part to date is around about 400 meters of, of thickness. Typically, it's more around about 200 meters. So it's not insignificant. 
but it's important to realize that uh, the scale of the targets we're exploring for, we're testing truly massive features. We're, so we are truly looking for tier one scale discoveries. So some massive step outs, I'm guessing. And yeah. So we're looking for something with a big, big footprint and big alteration halo around the porphyry body itself. Uh, so there should be nothing subtle, subtle about it. But we believe poking two to three sort of scout holes through the sedimentary cover, touching the bedrock a little bit, uh, will will identify these systems. And we've actually been kind of successful at identifying a system. We've just not yet drilled the the big boomer of an economic hole as yet. But uh, we're, we're uh, the next question was going to be like, where are you in the exploration process? So you've drilled a few holes. You have had technical success, yeah. love that term by the way, um, but to run us through that, like wh where are you in that process, how many holes have you drilled and uh, what are sort of the next steps now? So we, we entered into a partnership with Anglo Gold uh, last uh, June and uh, the way this agreement is structured, so there's four stages. Phase one is sort of a regional program of, of drilling, testing all of these targets, two to three holes in each of the targets and uh, that's going to comprise of about 30,000 meters of, of drilling. Uh, and that's all fully funded by, by Anglo Gold. It's a 10 million Australian dollar program that's gonna take about 18 months to, to complete. At the end of that period, Anglo Gold retains the right to select up to five projects whereby it can, it's got staged uh, a mechanism to get to 75% interest in each of those targets. And it's uh, on each of the targets, it's um, 7 million Australian dollars to get to 51%, an additional 20 million to get to 65%. And then to get to 75%, they have to deliver a, um, a 2 million ounce measuring indicated resource and a feasibility study. Uh, so it's a very big milestone to get to 75%. And the other little twist on top of that is uh, if, the, if and when they deliver a, a pre-feasibility study, they also seed back to inflection, either a 1% or 2% net smelter royalty as well. Oh, there you go. That's very valuable. You, you mentioned, like, is that per target or is that in total? No, that's per target. So that's time fi times, times five, five everything. Five. So it's, I believe it's $145 million if they went to 65% on all five targets. Try so funding that with 19 million market cap yourself. That's right. That's right. So that, that's where the upset is. Yes. And, you, and you get a retainer, uh, an NSR. You get to retain an NSR. Exactly. Uh, but it's, you know, right now, you know, we're, we're blessed to have that, that management fee as well. And that's really uh, enabling us not to, to go back to the capital markets when the markets have been challenging. And uh, that's really been uh, wonderful not having to, to worry about, about that. How is the relationship with Angle? That meaning, do you have a technical committee? Like, who, who's really dictating where to put the holes? So we, we laid out the strategy. So even before Angle got involved, we had a very clear plan. So each of the targets we've identified is a clear model and thesis to test each of those targets. And really, Anglo uh, provided the capital and uh, we are executing on that program. Now, that said, uh, it is a true partnership and uh, Anglo have been amazing to work with. Uh, they're providing us a lot of technical support in the background in terms of geophysicists and geochemists and structural geologists and things like this. So uh, we are working very closely uh, with them and there's uh, ongoing sort of, um, there's definitely quarterly meetings, and, uh, but there's a lot of day-to-day uh, -day contact with uh, key, key people at Anglo Gold. Sounds like you're getting way more out of that joint venture than it is written on paper. Well, maybe, maybe it is. Works well for both parties. I mean, it's very much, uh, uh, you know, we're executing on a plan, uh, and so Anglo Gold doesn't have to provide personnel per se on it to operate the day to day. Um, but uh, it works well for us as well for, for the reasons we've just mentioned. Oh, fantastic. Since this is just a company overview, just run me a bit through the you know, catalyst so we can wrap up the conversation. What, what's next? Pete? So it's all about drilling. So we're, we're drilling in this phase one program. So that's the $10 million of uh, regional drilling, testing these two or three holes into each of these sort of major targets. Uh, that will be ongoing to at least uh, the year end. And then uh, it's a case of um, phase two. So Anglo Gold, and I didn't get into this, have already selected one of their five uh, projects. So it was an early election. We actually made a little bit of a tweak to the agreement there last week. And uh, so that's a project called Duck Creek, and that's uh, sort of a $7 million earning to, to the initial 51%. So we're gonna be doing some deep drilling on this very specific target called Duck Creek, where earlier scout drilling uh, returned a lot of favorable alteration and geochemistry, indicative of being in close proximity to one of these alkalic copper gold porphyry systems, which we're targeting. Last question, who's in control of the press releases? We are in control of the news, uh, but there is a, we have to run the news through, through Anglo Gold, but it's more really just for 
corporate compliance as much as anything. But is that holding you up at all? Just curious. No, no, it's, no. A, it's, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. It takes 24 hours or so. No, it's, it's keys. Like I've seen yeah. so many joint ventures that the, where the joint venture partner can't put out anything and you're just a sitting duck. They like, can't right. do anything. So. No, we're very mindful of that. And uh, that was all, all very clear and written into the agreement. When do you expect the next set of results to be published? There'll be a steady stream of news coming out of uh, the drill program. We're, we've got a, a large batch of holes in the lab right now. Uh, from a, a big program of drilling we're doing in the far north of our, our claim blocks. Um, but there's sort of just periodic updates uh, from the various drill campaigns. So, but they'll be drilling at least all the way through to the year end. And uh, we'll see what happens after that. Phenomenal. Awesome. Alistair, thank you so much for joining us here thank in Frankfurt. You. Thanks for making the trip. It's always better to do it in person. Indeed. And to really appreciate good luck out there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everybody else, thank you so much for tuning in here on the Gold Newsletter. If you have any questions, constructive feedback, put that down below in the comments. If you haven't done so, click subscribe. We'll be putting out a lot more company interviews here in the coming days. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back with more.